This is the weirdest question on the SAT. Find the value of x in the diagram. Easy. Look, we got an x up here, and both these triangles look the same, like a mirror, so x must be the same as p. 35, it's p! Wait, there's also an x down here, and q is 65, but that's not even an answer. Uh, brain blast. Okay, let's just focus on this left triangle. We don't know this angle, but all these must add up to 180. So 35 plus 65 plus x must equal 180. So this is 80. Okay, and if that's 80, then this is also 80 because they're vertical angles. But how do we find x? Well, this triangle also has to add up to 180. So 80 plus x plus x equals 180. We can smash these two x's together. So 80 plus 2x equals 180. Subtract the 80. So 2x equals 100 divided by 2 and there it is, x equals 50, it's D. Want more SAT hacks? Comment 1600 down below. If you can't do this, you might have to go back to middle school. Okay, so we have x raised to the derivative of 2 power equals to 64, and what we're looking for is x is the square root of x, which is basically equal to x raised to the 1 half power. So what we can do here is try to eliminate this 3 here, since 3 over 2 is just basically just 1 half times 3. So this is also equal to x raised to the one-half power raised to the third power. And that's because if we have x raised to the a b power, it's also equal to x raised to the a power raised to the b power. So then we know that this is equal to 64. And what we can do to get rid of this 3 is by cube rooting both sides. And then that will give us x raised to the one-half power equals to the cube root of 64. And the cube root of 64 is going to be equal to 4. So that would mean that x raised to the 1 half power equals to 4, or the square root of x is equal to 4, which is our answer. a equals negative 2, then a plus a squared minus a cubed plus a raised to the 4th power minus a raised to the 5th power equals to what? Okay, so since we're given the value of a, which is negative 2, we can just plug in negative 2 for a in this expression. So first, let's write down some powers of negative 2. So negative 2 raised to the first power is just negative 2, and then negative 2 squared is equal to a negative 2 times negative 2, which is positive 4, and then negative 2 raised to the third power is going to be negative 8, since we multiply negative 2 with 4. So then negative 2 raised to the fourth power is going to be equal to positive 16, and then negative 2 raised to the fifth power is going to be equal to negative 32. So now let's solve. So a again is negative 2, plus a squared, which is negative 2 squared, is 4, minus a cubed, which is minus negative 8, so that's going to be minus negative 8 here, and then plus a raised to the fourth power, so negative 2 raised to the fourth power, which 